a tease of Donald Trump New York City. But the pair appeared to be trying to mend fences after Trump's stunning electoral victory, with Romney having called Trump to congratulate him on his win. Then you had journalists like Wayne Barrett and Tim O'Brien who had a traditionally adversarial, ultimately litigious relationship with Trump, with these hard-hitting investigations into his shady business dealings. Sophie Fielet blasts Donald Trump's racism, sexism, and xenophobia. And I appreciate the chance to speak with the president-elect and I look forward to the coming administration and the things that it's going to be doing, Romney said. Play video CBS and Sanctuary Cities Prepare for Fight Sanctuary Cities across the U.S. are preparing for a fight after President-elect Trump suggested cutting funds to the cities during the campaign. That means working with your local house of worship or progressive group, in, say, New York City or Los Angeles, and building relationships with local houses of worship and advocacy groups in suburban areas near them. As the Trump brand is being protested in New York City and South Florida, developer Gil Dezer is pushing for more. But he pointed hopefully to the power of the 48-member Senate Democratic Caucus headed by Senator Charles Schumer, who have enough votes under the current rules to filibuster most Republican legislation. Mitt Romney met with President-elect Donald Trump on Saturday an unlikely conversation between the real estate mogul and one of his harshest Republican critics amid speculation about whether the former Massachusetts governor would join Trump's cabinet. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease Second Mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.